North Texas voters can expect plenty of signs outside of polling locations for the midterm elections. In Denton, you'll see this. Decriminalization of weed uh, makes sense. Denton voter Dakota Smith is voting for Proposition B, which would aim to eliminate low-level marijuana enforcement by Denton police. That would mean no more citations and arrests for Class A and Class B misdemeanor possession of marijuana, which can include up to four ounces. I think that regulating it makes more sense. I think it'll keep it off the streets. Don Fleming sees things differently. I'm against it. I just feel that the long-term effects for anybody getting on that drug is not a good situation. This ordinance has been a topic of discussion at Denton City Council meetings for months. Let us vote on it. We have to be frank with ourselves and frank with the citizens that it, it may be necessary for us to amend this ordinance in the future. What we're trying to do is just not incarcerate people for uh, something that should not be a crime. This is Nick Stevens. He is a board member for the organization decriminalized Denton, which gathered the necessary signatures to put this ordinance on the November 8th ballot. Mayor Gerald Hudspeth supported putting it to a vote. Comfortable putting it on a ballot because it, it deserves to be because the charter directs us to. Which Smith was happy to hear, with some exceptions. I don't think anybody should be smoking weed under the age of 21. That is part of the reason why this ordinance doesn't apply to the University of North Texas or Texans Women's University. They have their own police departments and policies. I mean, whether you're for or against weed, I mean, it just helps the state in general. But I still believe that the long-term effects of this, so why even start it? So now it will soon be up for the voters to decide if this proposition becomes a law. In Denton, I'm Jay Wallace.